Hey, it's Enigma HUD, what's up? And we're streaming Super Mario Brothers, the original. All right, let's see if I can beat it this time. Let's do it. Let's get right into it. Uh, hold on. Wait a minute. I hold on. I forgot to share the damn stream. I need to share the damn stream. Hold on. One second. Give me one minute. I think I could share it right from this Twitch thing. Let me see if I can do it. Should be able to do it. Let me see if it works. What the hell? It doesn't matter. Wait a minute. I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Sorry it took so long. Hey, Zax. Yes. Uh, is it the first game to feature Secret Continues? I don't know if it, it's the first. Um, I know it does have Secret Continues, which we will be using, because that's the only way to beat this fucking game, for me, at least. We're also going to have to use the uh, the one-up trick. All right, let's 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 try to beat this. Hold on. Get rid of this thing in the background. Uh, I'm experiencing some lag. For some reason, it's being laggy. Hope it clears up. What am I doing? It's been a while since I played this game. Other games before Mario would continue? With continues? I'm not sure. Uh, the problem is, like, I can't... I think this game came out in 1985, I think? I mean, it was one of the first platformers, period, so... Okay, the real trick is I need to get to World 3-1. If I can get to World 3 one oh, I didn't get the Fire Flower, oh well. If I can get to World 3-1... Then I'll be good. So that's the challenge. It's a little laggy on my end, I don't know why. Okay, that was a mistake. <laughs> that's okay. This is gonna be a warpless run. So far, so good. We didn't die yet, so that's that's always good. If I can just make it to 3-1, then we're okay. Once we get to 3-1, then we need to use the 1-up trick. And of course, I had to do that. What makes this game so hard is the sluggish physics in this game. Oh, it was 1983, okay. The the NES version was 85. No, the NES came out in 1985. The Famicom came out before then. No, no, it didn't. The Famicom came out in 1983. The Famicom and the, and the Nintendo Entertainment System are two different things. Okay. Oh, jeez. My palms are sweating too much. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get a game over. If we get a game over, then we get a game over. What can I say? I don't know what the fuck. If I can get to world two at least, then we'll be okay. Oh! Damn it! Hold on. My palms are sweaty. Let's try that again. 
Most of the time I can do this on a single run without a single game over. Hey, X-Infected. Well, I'm glad you can make it. Hope everything's going well. Hope your mom isn't forcing you to go to church or anything. Yeah, there's there's a one up somewhere, I'm sure. But I mean, it'll only help a little bit. No church. Okay, good. You know how much we dislike church on this stream, right? <laughs> I don't need to tell you that. We won't need that. If we can get to 3 1, we can do the 1 up trick. You know how to do the 1 up trick, Zax? If you don't, I'm gonna teach you. We're gonna succeed it. We're gonna do it. But my palms, I don't know, for, I'm nervous. That's the problem. Every time I get nervous, my palms sweat like crazy and I can't even hold the controller or, or push any of the, the controls or whatever. I can't push the buttons or the D-pad or anything. It's just like, it's terrible. Oh, that was close. Oh, the physics. The physics are so clunky. The clunky physics. And for some reason, there's slowdown. <sighs> Alright, let's try this again. There's randomization on these levels. Sometimes there's a, a fire bar, but sometimes there isn't. See, like, sometimes there's a fire bar there. Go! Alright, that's fine. That doesn't matter. As long as we make it. Alright, good. Yeah, I'm a little rusty. That's okay. That happens. You can shoot it, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. Oh! <laughs> wow! No! Okay, good. No! Alright, you know what? I'm gonna turn off... I'm gonna turn off Ankhbot, because I think that's slowing shit down a little bit. I think it's just kind of slowing things up a little, I think. What? What? <sighs> this is actually really bad. You know what? I'm gonna kill myself on purpose because we really shouldn't be losing so many lives on 2-1. Like, it's just... It's not a good idea. Okay. 
Okay. What? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, hey, Sean. Whew. My palms are just too damn sweaty. I don't know why. Fuck! What you LOL at? That was an intentional kill. I had to intentionally kill myself because otherwise I'm oh, be going into the rest of these levels in a gimped state. Okay, this is the water level. Actually, the water level's not that bad. I mean... Well, it's bad, but... Oh, this is the first video game you ever played? Nice. I played... The first video game I ever played was very similar to this. But it actually predates this. Okay, get, you know, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, missing the mushroom. Yeah, I could have used that mushroom. Oh well. Okay. Those things, they have a mind- they, they just do whatever they want to do. The cheap cheeps are annoying. The- whenever you go across a pit, it sucks you down. There's like some kind of invisible force that sucks you down. Did you ever beat this game, Sean? I can't remember if you said you ever beat this game. Okay. We just need to get a 3-1. Okay, I'm gonna just keep running here. I'm pretty sure that's the best strat. Alright, we'll slow down a little bit. Oh! Alright, we have one more life. That's okay, though. Actually, it's not okay, but whatever. Oh! <sighs> I need, like, latex gloves for playing this game because my, my palms, they just won't stop sweating. Oh, okay, you beat it plenty of times. You were an NES kid. I was a Sega kid. We're going to be doing all the levels, though. This is a full run. We're going to be using the one-up trick, though, because that's the only way I can beat it. Sega was a great... Sega made great games back then. Although... Like, I wish I did have an SNES... Back then. In addition, of course, in addition. I mean, they, they both... NES and Super NES, they, they both had amazing games. Some of the best games ever created were on those systems. Run! Whoa! 
only Sonic game you played was the first Sonic, and that was with a dolphin? Dolphin? You mean the dolphin emulator? The Dolphin Emulator did GameCube and Wii. What am I doing? You're supposed to run here. That's it. We're running. Fuck that. See, that's how you're supposed to do it. Oh, Echo the Dolphin, okay. A lot of people pronounce it Eco the Dolphin. It's not Eco the Dolphin, it's Echo the Dolphin, because it's a pun on uh, echolocation. Echo the Dolphin, I never could get into. I, I didn't even know what to do. It was just confusing to me. It's one of the... Uh... Hold on. I need to get through this. Fuck. It's okay. No! <sighs> oh, come on. This is just bullshit. This is complete bullshit. Sometimes there is a fire bar here. It's totally random. That's fine. As long as we get to 3-1, that's that's okay. Now we can We'll um You know what? We'll just kill ourselves. That's okay. Whoops. Doesn't one of these have a mushroom in it, I think? Oh yeah, that was probably Sonic's like mega collection or I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I mean, the Genesis games were amazing. I mean, uh, Comic Zone, that's another great game. There we go. Um, Shinobi 2 and 3 are fantastic. I prefer Shinobi 2, but, I'm um, excuse me, I prefer Shinobi 3, but I know some people like Shinobi 2 more. Okay, doing the 1-up trick is very tricky. No pun intended. Uh, it just is. So... The one-up trick is the only way I can beat this game, so we're gonna have to do it. If I can't do it, we're gonna have to keep on doing it. And I fucked up. <sighs> it's not easy doing it. It's the only way I can beat this game. It's too hard otherwise. You can also do a one-up trick in Mario 2, The Lost Levels. Ok. 
Mm. Mario 2 USA, I don't know of any one-up trick. So... It may or may not have one, but I don't know of any one-up trick. But if you have Doki Doki Panic, you don't need it, because it has a continue feature. Okay. Okay, we're, we're on it. We gotta count once we get into the rhythm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's seven. We need a count because... I need to stop wasting time. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-six. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-two. Hey, Chirth, go. Uh, this is bad. Forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty. Ah, oh, come on. For eight, for nine, fifty, fifty one, fifty two, fifty three. Uh. Alright, the reason why I need a count is because if you go over ninety nine, you get zero lives. All right, so we have 53 so far. I mean, that should be enough, but I'm not confident in my abilities right now because my palms are sweating so much and there's some frame rate issues. So I want to get some more. I need to get more. All right, I don't even know if I can get it with little Mario. Hold on. With Little Mario, you really can't get it. So that's the one-up trick, by the way. That was close. <laughs> What? Right, we're down to like 51 lives. It's what? I was on top of it. That's 49. If you go past 99, you get zero lives. That's why you have to count. You can't get more than 99. So you gotta. The safe bet is just to stop at 90. That way you won't. If you accidentally counted. If you counted incorrectly, then you'll be safe still. If you want to be really safe, you stop at 80.
51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 65, 66, 67, 68. Six eight six nine seventy seven one seventy two seventy three seventy four seventy five seventy six seventy seven seventy eight seventy nine eighty eight one eighty two eighty three seventy eight seventy nine eighty nine eighty eight one eighty two eighty three okay we're gonna stop here that was ninety three right did I stop at ninety three or what let's see. I think we're okay. You have to kill yourself just to make sure that you're okay. Yeah, okay. That should be fine. That should be fine. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Whoops. A couple of levels aren't too bad. This is a hard game, not because of the level design really, but because of the physics. The control is so stiff. Like if you play Mario Maker and then come to this, you're gonna hate this. Because uh, Mario has too much Inertia. He feels like a lead weight, you know? Okay. So yeah, you can do the, the one-up trick even on um, Mario 2 Lost Levels. Uh, in fact, it's even better because you can do it in the first level, uh, whereas in this game, the earliest opportunity you can do it is 3-1. You can do it later on, though. Uh, there are other places where you can do it. Basically, you can do it anywhere you see a staircase with Koopas or Buzzy Beetles walking down it. I'm pretty sure it works with Buzzy Beetles as well. Yeah, like the whole game feels like you're on ice, uh, which makes it even worse on, I think, did Mario 2 have ice? I can't remember. What's my favorite Mario game? Uh, for, in general, probably Mario 3D World or Mario Galaxy 2. Both are really, really good. Um, for 2D, Mario 3. Oh boy. Uh, I prefer Mario 3 over Mario World. I know a lot of people prefer Mario World. Hold on. Okay, that was close. <sighs> yeah, Mario World I like, but I didn't like how... Like, when I first played it, I couldn't get past a certain level because... I couldn't get past the Lost Woods or whatever because... You need to find a secret exit, and for the longest time I couldn't... Oh, boy. For the longest time I couldn't figure it out. So, I didn't like how you have to find secret exits just to progress normally in the game. I mean, other than that, it's a great game. But, actually, like, half the game is basically secret. So, if you, if you just want to play the game normally, like, the main game is actually kind of shorter than Mario 3 in terms of levels that you're just required to do. Like, it's a longer game if you do all the secrets. Um... And the levels themselves are longer. 
But I actually prefer the shorter levels of Mario 3. They're, you know, short and sweet. Super Mario World, Sunshine. Sun Sunshine's a great game, yeah. Um, in fact, I have Mario Odyssey. And... I feel like the, the potential for Mario Odyssey is higher, but... Oh, I should have just went up there. Oh, well. But the... I prefer Mario Sunshine, at the moment at least. Um, because, like, it just... Like, it's so colorful, and there's so much stuff in the, in the game. It feels like it has this, like, so much to do in the game. Um, I mean, technically Mario Odyssey is bigger, but since the, since the, the levels are more spread out, the levels feel a little barren to me. I mean... That's just my initial impressions. I only beat Mario Odyssey once. Um, it's still a great game, though. I feel like maybe I would like it more as time goes on, but yeah, Mario Sunshine. Um, I love it. I, I really love the, the how the colors are just like, so bright and vibrant. Uh, they're almost pastel-like. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Knuckles Chaotix. The art style in Knuckles Chaotix, um, which I know some people don't like that game, but I don't give a shit because I love that game. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck am I doing? There. Mario 64? I like Mario 64 more than Mario Sunshine. Um... The reason why I like it more than Mario Sunshine is because it's more non-linear. Um, like, you can do the stars out of order. Um, and I feel like the puzzles are more creative in the way that you can figure them out. Uh, Mario 64 had a terrible camera, let's be honest. Uh, the camera is just awful. Is this one of those maze levels? Whoa. Look at this this jumble of blocks. I think this is a maze level, isn't it? Oh boy. Oh no, it's not. Is it? It is. I hate the maze levels, and I'm oh wow, I I made it somehow. Okay, we made it through, but now I gotta get through this. Whoa! Okay, good. What was I saying? Yeah, Mario 64 has a terrible camera. Here's the thing, Mario Odyssey has a great camera. They managed to figure out a way to make a non-linear Mario game in 3D with a good camera, but um, in order to achieve that, they did have to have fewer objects in the in the in the world um and yeah that that kind of makes the world look a little barren compared to Mario Sunshine or Mario 64 but you know it might just be me anyway i i still like it um Mario Odyssey that is they're all really great Whew. We're getting there. So why do you hate the Mario 64, Sean? Any particular reason? If it's the camera, then... Yeah, I understand hating the camera. But I think the, the positives of the game outweigh... Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, oh good. Oh, good. Oh, fuck. No! 
I don't know how the hell I got him there, but... Whatever. <clears throat> Whoa! Give me mushroom. Where's the mushroom? Fuck! That hitbox. Bad camera and controls. The controls, you, you gotta get used to, yeah. I mean, like, compared to the later games, of course, they're gonna be more... They're gonna be more slippery. But if you can get used to it, it's not that bad. You just gotta get used to it, though. What the fuck? Just like this game, you know? Like, this game, it has, it has bad controls, let's be honest. But if you get used to it, then it's not too bad. But yeah, definitely compared to the later games, this game has terrible control. What? <sighs> That's the second time that motherfucker killed me. See, like, this game, like, Mario has so much inertia. You know what? Fuck that. There we go. Come on! Good. The metal cap switch? Oh, that's... You gotta find that in the level with the plesiosaur. The, uh, the sea monster? Yeah, he's in... It's, it's in that level somewhere. There's, like, a secret room. Man... tough. Looked up on the internet and found no help. Uh, you could you can look it up on YouTube. You'll find a video that'll show you exactly where it is. Yeah, it's in the level with the, the sea monster. There's just some secret room in there. See, the, the hardest thing about these castle levels is if you die anywhere, you've got to start at the beginning. There's no checkpoint. Okay, getting that is fucking useless, so we're not going to bother with that anymore. Okay, I need to stop there. I need to slow down there, right? Sean, did you beat this from beginning to end, no warps, without the one-up trick? Because this is hard as fuck. If you play it like over and over again, I'm sure you could you could get it eventually. You just have to you gotta practice.
Whoa. Oh boy. I probably shouldn't have even bothered. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother with that. I think it's unnecessary. I'm probably just gonna end up killing myself more often than not, so we're not gonna waste time with that. Yeah, <laughs> it... Everything needs to be spot on. Especially when you're using sluggish controls, like, it's... It's so hard. Whoa. I'm in a bad spot here. That's okay. We can do this. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, 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 that was so close. You know what? I'm just gonna play it safe. <sighs> so, World 7 is gonna be pretty tough too. Uh, World 8 is the toughest. Uh, yeah, I did actually see that. Um, in fact, there's also another video that teaches about game design and talks about why World 1-1 is expertly crafted uh, game design um, and basically just uh, it actually stated a lot of the things Miyamoto stated before he ever he, before he ever did that video um, you know it's actually ingenious how he was able to convey the instructions to this game well without uh, without a tutorial or anything like that you know games these days you need to have tutorials and lots of hand holding this game was able to convey all that information just through trial and error in the first level. Uh, Breath of the Wild, if you ever play that, that also uses the same teaching philosophy of, of teaching a player how to play the game uh, without excessive tutorials, you know? Like, they force you right in the beginning of the game to go to an ice war place or a, a very cold place. And it teaches you that you, there's a cold mechanic that can freeze you and damage you over time. So then you learn, okay, I have to do something in order to keep myself warm when I travel over mountains and things. Oh boy. And stuff like that. It's very cool. I don't know why I keep fucking up there. I can do this. All right, I gotta concentrate. <laughs> See how this would be impossible to do without the one-up trick? I mean, you can use infinite continues, but you know, it's you would have to restart the whole world every time. The guy who made Doom says you can create the first level fast. You mean John Carmack? Or do you mean, uh, John Romero? Did you know John Romero was gonna make you his bitch? <laughs> John Romero, he was one of the, uh, the developers at id who was responsible for making Doom. Hold on. Oh, fuck. And then he tried to he left it and tried to make another game called Die Katana. And the advertising was so bad. They didn't show any screenshots of it. They just kind of used John Romero's popularity to sell the game and there's this one ad that just said John Romero's going to make you his bitch. He 
was so bad. Whoa. Oh, it's John Romero. Okay. Okay, World 7, we're getting there. Hold on. He became a douchebag after he left it, yeah. He hasn't made a video game since. I think he, he pretty much stopped that. I mean, now he, I think he teaches or some shit. I guess he teaches people how to make people their bitch. I never played Daikatana. It looked so generic. Like, why would he even bother make a game that looked so generic in the first place? Oh, here's another place where you could use the one-up trick if you want. At 7-1, you can use the one-up trick. Anytime you see a staircase with some kind of with a buzzy beetle or a Koopa going down the stairs, you can do it there. All right, this is the second water level. It's the same exact level design, except the enemy placement's different. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a bad spot. Yeah, but you know what? Romero's not even the worst. It was KG Inafune who was the worst. Jesus. I knew that was gonna happen. KG Inaf at least John Romero never took people's money under false promises and shit. KG Inafune, he used his fame fuck's sake. And his undeserved credit for creating Mega Man, he did not create Mega Man. There were multiple people who were responsible for the creation of Mega Man. He was just an artist. He knew nothing about game design. But since he was the only guy left, like, all, apparently all the guys who were responsible for Mega Man 1... They left the company over the years to do other things, and he was just... He was just the only one left. And so they credited him as the, like, father of Mega Man when he didn't deserve it. Uh... Yeah, I mean, they, they all had big heads. They all acted so arrogant and pompous. George Broussard also was like that. Oh boy. You know, that's why they that's why they had this big head about, you know, releasing Duke Nukem Forever whenever they wanted to. They thought they were under no no time limits, no no constraints, and that wasn't true because the time limit was imposed by the industry. Oh, I'm, I already fucked up here. Okay, let's just get out of here. And I fucked up. Alright, this is the same... Same level, same level design as, uh... The level from World 2, except the enemy placement, again, is different. Damn it. See why we need 99 lives? Oh, 
with that said, Doom is one of the greatest games ever created. Um, in its original form, it's still fun, but it it's most fun with mods, modern source ports, and user-made megawatts. Whoa, that was close. And that wasn't. Duke Nukem? Duke Nukem 3D is good. Don't get Duke Nukem forever. That game's a piece of shit. But Duke Nukem 3D is good. Still to this day, it's good. I heard that Gearbox is gonna make a new Duke Nukem game. Hopefully they do it justice. Um, because Duke Nukem Forever was a piece of shit. If they, if Gearbox learns the lessons, the mistakes, learns from the mistakes that 3D Realms made, then they can make a great Duke Nukem game. We're getting there. <laughs> oh, there's another maze level, isn't it? We'll stream Zex's mod one day. Does anyone remember how to do this? Sean, do you remember the order I need to do this in? This is a fucking bullshit. I hate these maze levels. They totally fuck up the whole game. They're totally unnecessary. It has nothing to do with challenge. It's just so stupid. <laughs> I have to guess. I really have no idea. Okay, thank you, Sean. Yeah, it's just... I hate these maze levels. There's also gonna be another one in 8. In the final... area as well. And that's gonna be a nightmare. Oh, I think we got... And, of course, we die. Wow. I can't remember what I did, though. I could- I could do without the mazes. The mazes are so bad. Did I make it? Yeah, okay, we made it. I just have to get through this. Go! Okay, good. Oh, we made it. <sighs> yeah, we got it. But I think there's gonna be another one. Yeah, there, in fact, I know there's another one in 8-4. Alright, these are really hard because if you die, you have to start all over at the beginning. There's no checkpoints. Thank you. 
Are we done yet? Holy fuck! I, I need a... <laughs> I, I need time. I need to wipe down my sweaty palms in order to do this. Holy shit. If I die here... I think there is a checkpoint in 8-1, but still. I don't want to die here. <laughs> Hold on. Normally, this would be easy-peasy, but, like, with these clunky controls, it's not... Okay. Okay, good. <sighs> Eight two is is hard. Eight two is very hard. Hey, Warfy. Merry Christmas. Oh, you're on a train. Okay, no problem. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for the Merry Christmas. Hope you're having a good holiday. Shit. Shit. Happy Boxing Day. Yeah, the day after Christmas is Boxing Day. I don't even know what that's all about. Like, what do you do on Boxing Day? Box people? Damn it, I thought you could run underneath those fuckers, but I guess the timing. It's all about the timing. I wanted to try kill him. I mean, killing him won't do any good because he just comes back. Let's see, like I killed him there. We can get like a mushroom, I think, over here, maybe, or not. I thought you could run underneath him. I guess it's. It depends on the timing of everything. Ugh! No! Yeah, this is the level where if you die once anywhere, you have to start over from the beginning. I really hate 8-2. Actually, 8-3 is really tough, but I'm better at it than this one, typically. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to concentrate. Going into a tunnel, Warfy? Okay, no problem. Okay. We're gonna have to concentrate. Duck Hunt? Duck Hunt was lame. I never liked Duck Hunt. It got, like, it was neat in 
for the first five minutes and then it becomes boring. Yeah, I need to practice A2 and get good at it. Okay, that went well, actually. I mean, we didn't lose too many lives. Like, that could have gone a lot worse. Yeah, Duck Hunt sucked. <laughs> he was a piece of shit. Okay, 8-3. This can be hard or it can be not bad. It, it just depends. <sighs> I think we're okay. We just have to get through this. <gasps> oh, damn it. I can't tell you how hard that was, um, but we almost did it. And that would have been amazing. <laughs> Hammer Bros are, are the worst enemy. Like, they're especially hard in this game because oftentimes they're on the same plane as you. Or they're, they're placed in such a way that they're just... They're terrible. I, I think Nintendo realized just how bad they were, so they changed them so that you never... Like, in other games they're easier. Um... The power-ups you get make them easier, their, their, their placement makes them easier, the controls make them easier in the other games, but in this game they're just... They are the bane of your existence. Okay, actually there is a mushroom. I, I just remember there's a mushroom here somewhere. Okay, I think it's up here. Owly, hey! I'm so glad you could drop in. Oh, here it is. No! Fuck it, we don't need it. No! Merry Christmas, Allie. Allie's been so busy. I miss her so much. Hope, uh, hope you had a good Christmas. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, I can do this. I could have done this the first, first fucking time. Alright, I gotta concentrate. No! Uh, I'll wait. Fuck those guys. This game is hard as fuck. Okay, there's a mushroom here. We can get- Oh! Whoa, I don't know what the fuck happened there, but I'll take it. What? Come on! I can never get that fucking thing. <laughs> Holy shit, that was hard. Okay, that wasn't bad, actually. Alright, last level. <laughs>
last level. You think we can do it? Actually, I don't remember the maze. Fuck, there's a stupid maze here. Aw. Yeah, it's been so long. It's been like a million years. A million billion years since Ellie's been to the stream. Ellie's been so busy, but I'm so glad that you could, uh, could drop in. Okay, I think this is the one. I think. Okay, and then, okay, yeah, the, then these guys. Whoa! And then you have to go into this. And then... <gasps> then what? Then, then this? Yeah, yeah, this one. <clears throat> okay, I think this- Oh! <clears throat> Why did I do that? I should've just kept going to the right, yeah. I totally forgot how to do that one. I'm sorry that I'm, like, screaming and, and yelling so much. It's just... This game really stresses me out. This is one of the hardest games ever created. Okay, then this. Okay, and then I think the best way of taking these guys is to go underneath them. Okay. <laughs> it's my character. What? I should have waited. It's okay, we still have a lot of lives. You can tell when you're running low on lives when it starts going into um, the alphabet and then it'll start counting down. That's when you know that you're running out of lives. But we're on the last level, so if I, f if I lose all my lives here, then I truly suck at Mario. And life. I suck at life if I can't beat this at this point. Okay. <sighs> but this is not even the hardest part. The hardest part is when you get near the end. There's going to be a hammer, bro. And his placement is so bad. It is so bad. It's right near a lava pit. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have to concentrate. There's just no other way. The Switch eShop? I think so, yeah. Yeah, they usually have it on all the virtual console things. Okay. So, we gotta stay on top here. That's what- that's where I fucked up before. You can come down here. Then you stay down here. These guys, they'll never get you. They'll never go onto the, the ground floor, so that's how you get past those guys. Okay, there's the, the, the annoying hammer, bro, and then you got a fireball right there. After that is Koopa. So that's all we need to do, and then we win. You can, like, get past these guys kind of fast, but it's better to play it safe. Yeah, that's the other thing that sucks about 
about this castle. Every time you die, you gotta start at the beginning. Every time. Yeah, the 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 Koopa um, Bowser. Yeah, he he throws hammers and he can be tough to get through. But probably probably the Hammer Bro and the Fireball right before him are even harder than he is. He's just the icing on the cake. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> See, every fucking time that fireball does that. How are you supposed to do it? Yeah, it's been so long, hasn't it? But it's so great that you're able to stop in for a little bit. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. So luckily I actually remember the maze. This this level is actually a maze. So it'll keep looping if you don't do it the way I'm doing it. You have to go in the right pipes and all that shit. Okay, here he goes. <gasps> Why that fucking fireball? I, I, because you can't even wait there. If you wait there, then it gets worse. You have to take the first opportunity to go underneath him. Alright, fuck it. I was gonna try to do it fast, but it's not worth it sometimes. Miyamoto's such a fucker, isn't he? But actually, this this is nothing. Mario 2 Lost Levels is even harder than this. enough momentum. He's so sluggish. What am I doing? Ugh. Mario runs so fast, yeah, he's so slippery. Like, when, once he gets up to speed, he's so slippery. Whoa. Whoa. This is not my A game. Totally safe on the bottom. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, they just do whatever the fuck they want to do.
All right, I'm going to I'm going to really concentrate here. I'm not going to say anything. I'm sorry. I just have to. That's the only way to beat this stupid game. All right, fuck it. Just fuck it. Okay, let's try it again. What am I doing? What am I doing? This is the one we need to go in. <sighs> Jump, you fucker! Not now. Jump, you fuck! Just jump! <sighs> you can try jump on him, but the problem is he throws his hammers above himself, so it's so risky. It's so risky. More, more, more often than not, you end up killing yourself. This is much cleaner than the NES version. Yeah, it. Um, this is this is running on an emulator. Actually, you can even clean up even more. Like here, I'll, I'll show you. You can actually, um, you can turn on a filter. That. Uh, see how it's it smooths out all the jaggies. But it slows it down on my end. Because my computer's kind of a piece of shit. But yeah, I gotta turn off the filter now because it's a little, a little slow. Alright, you guys want me to jump over him? Alright, let's try jump over him. You can try jump over him, but it's so risky. Let's see let's see what happens. Oh why? There's not enough speed.
<laughs> I, I really thought he was gonna jump. I really thought he was gonna jump. He just does whatever the fuck he wants to do. Boing, 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 yep. If that fireball didn't get me, I know I would have made it. Koopa's not even there. Am I going through a shortcut every time? Actually, this is this is the way you got to do it. this game. Alright, that's it. <sighs> I can't believe this fucking game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you can kill him, yeah, then... <clears throat> then you can time that jump just the way you want to do it. Like, the way I've done it before is that usually you can make that jump as long as you go, like, underneath him when he jumps. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Allie, for the yay. Thank you, X-Infected. I'm so tired! <laughs> Everything has been drained out of me. Uh, I don't know, do you guys want to see another game? I mean kind of exhausted after that fucking game. I was gonna do Jazz Jackrabbit Holiday Hair, but... <clears throat> you know, kind of like a Christmas-themed Christmas, Christmas -themed game. Doki Doki Panic's too hard. I mean, it's, it's not... it's not... too bad. It's not as bad as Mario 2, but... I would have to, like, practice that a little bit more. Yeah, you're probably right, Sean. Probably better just to time it and then kill him. So do you guys want to see... You guys want to see Jazz Jackrabbit? Jazz... If I can pronounce that word correctly, Jazz Jackrabbit. Actually, Jazz Jackrabbit, we can... We can beat pretty quickly. It's, it's uh... <clears throat> okay. Um, let me... Let me actually just, uh restart the streams. I'll be right back. I'll be back in like a minute. 